Hello and welcome to this week's case review. My name is Shane Smith and today I'll be talking to one of the attorneys from Shane Smith Law, Thomas Oswald. Uh, Thomas, today we're going to talk about your client, CC. Tell me a little bit about CC. CC was a 42-year-old construction worker from New Bern, North Carolina, uh, somebody who relied on his body and his mobility for his trade and his livelihood. He was driving on September 25th, uh, 2020, through Craven County on State Route 1121, um, traveling down the road, 45 miles per hour, speed limit, everything uh, above board for him. The other driver made an unsafe movement, turning left in front of him as he's you know, traveling full speed here. Uh, at the very last second, he had no time to try to avoid the accident. He, he managed to swerve his wheel just a little bit. They end up having a head-on collision. Now, the, the complicating factor with this accident was that uh, CC was carrying uh, some pretty heavy objects in his trunk and in his back seat, you know, a couple hundred pounds worth. And when he had the collision with uh, the vehicle, those objects came flinging forward to the front of the car, crashing into the back of his seat oh, wow. and, and sandwiching him in between the collision in front of him and uh, the really heavy objects behind him. Uh, he was life flighted to the hospital uh, through helicopter and it had to have surgery to fix his injuries. What, what he was injured with was a uh, complex pelvic fracture, compression fracture of his thoracic vertebrae and traumatic fractures at T2, T3, T4, and T5. Uh, he had to have kind of emergency surgery to reconstruct his pelvis and back and make there be a platform of stability there that he could move with. Sounds like he was hurt really, really badly. Um... Why did this take so long to get results? Yeah, that's a great question. From, you know, before we, we even talk about money, our number one goal here is to get people feeling back the way that they did before the accident or, or get them back uh, to themselves. And here where you have the damage done immediately, and the, the impacts of this are going to stretch on for years for the rest of his life. That was something that we made clear to the insurance company within the first couple of weeks. And we explained the injuries. We explained the surgery that was required here, the type of physical therapy, the fact he wouldn't walk for four to five months if he had a really great recovery. Explained yeah. all those things to the insurance company from the beginning of the case. But there was there was a fight. Now they wanted to you know drag it out. They wanted to see what happened to somebody who was in the other vehicle who had very minor injuries. And you know they said that could affect your client's payoffs. Well, it's clear and obvious here that there's only one person who had to undergo surgery on the one person who had traumatic fractures. This is, this is open and shut. Uh, so we had to remind them of, of their duties under the law in terms of handling claims uh, fairly and in, in good faith. And, you know, we had to just constantly remind them of their duties and just keep, keep the foot to the pedal in terms of doing our job and, and trying to get them to do theirs. It was the difficult part on this getting them to accept responsibility for the accident or getting them to, to pay the client for the damages or both. No, it, it wasn't an issue in terms of them accepting liability. They accepted liability. It, it was at that point, though, that they said, all right, we're going to we're going to slow this down to a glacial pace in terms of looking at the injuries here and trying to, you know, sort out what the damages are going to be. Uh, when in my mind and, and my clients, it was abundantly clear that <laughs> these damages were going to far exceed any insurance policy out there. OK. And uh, what was the end result? What were you able to do for CC? The end result was that we got every dollar that was available there. Uh, we, we got a $250,000 settlement. Uh, we got our client uh, uh, some reduced hospital bills. We fought for a long time with the hospital to, to get them to kind of live up to their charitable you know, nature and origin and, and cut somebody who'd been through a lot in his life here, you know, a little bit of a break in terms of the bills that he was going to be required to pay. And, and that was a long battle. That took a couple months in and of itself uh, just to do that and get the best deal for the client but we were able to, to have some success in doing that. Okay. And you said earlier, you, you got the, uh, the $250,000. That was the max insurance policy that was available on this case. It was, that was every dollar that was available, every, everything that was there to get for them. Okay. Sounds like you got a great result, as good a result for CC as you could. Um, is there anything you learned from this case you're going to be able to take with you and uh, help other clients in the future on? Yeah. I, I, I always tell Folks, if you know you don't have a lot of extra underinsured or uninsured motorist coverage, you need to pay that extra couple dollars a month to be sure that you can protect yourself in a, in a case like this. Because the other driver had two hundred fifty thousand here, but it's possible that Mr. CC could have had more uh, in, in this situation just just to protect himself. So that's something I've taken to doing, and then just uh, you know knowing that a lot of your battle is going to be with the hospitals in terms of trying to get them to you know take less than full price, which is really it a really incredible amount of bills. Okay.
All right. Thanks, Thomas. It sounds like you got a great result. It sounds like even after you fought the insurance company, you then had to turn around and fight the hospital to get a good result for, uh, for CC. And it sounds like that's what happened. So thanks for uh, talking to us about that. Yeah, thank you, Shane. Thanks for listening to today's call. Remember, if you're in pain, call Shane, 980-999-9999. Or you can order our free book, Victims Survive a Guide to Car Accidents, at www.shanesmithlaw.com. We'll be going over another case next week and hope something we can learn from that and hope to see you there. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine. Shane Smith Law. In pain, call Shane.